Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Um, you know, it's Saturday evening, and it's been a crazy off season to say the least. Um, I, I am mystified by the amount of movement and rumblings of moving, especially of quarterbacks this year. Um, we know that John Gruden is literally playing fantasy football. He loves to trade. He loves to trade. He's been actually shopping, apparently, Derek Carr as well as Marcus Mariota. And um, apparently, the Washington football team has been, a, a, it's been out shopping. They haven't come home with anything. They're window shopping right now. We've heard that they were trying to get in on the market, uh, excuse me, uh, the Matthew Stafford deal. They were allegedly offering as much as a number one to get up in there, but ultimately they thought that the price was too high. We haven't heard them wanting Carson Wentz. Uh, no interest. No interest in Carson Wentz at all. But apparently they're interested in a ham sandwich. That's right. The Washington football team, who has signed Heineke, they also have Kyle Allen, who will be coming back. But it looks like they are interested in Marcus Mariota. I say ham sandwich because you'll remember famously the most hideous sandwich I have ever seen in my life. Yeah, I remember that like it was yesterday when Subway came out with the Marcus Mariota likeness sub. Yeah. So hopefully it won't be if they do trade for him, like Jason Garrett said about that Italian sub that you just want to spit it out after watching the film. Yeah. Um, but on, on the serious note, um, you have to applaud Washington for being aggressive in free agency. They are looking around and they realize, listen, we have a deficit at quarterback. We've done well at drafting and building our defense, which they honestly have. Their defense, for the most part, are homegrown guys that they went and drafted, you know, in the draft. They've got a couple of free agents and things, um, like Collins from New York um, and so on. But most of it has been talent that they've drafted. They realize that if we can get a really good quarterback, because – their quarterback situation has been in flux. Let's be honest, for the last 20 years, I think they've had 31 different quarterbacks start. Let me say it again. 31 different quarterbacks start over the last 20 years. So Cowboy fans, you know, when you say, let's just throw away Dak Prescott and we'll just draft another quarterback or we'll just sign somebody, take a look at the Washington football team who still is trying to make moves to get a quarterback. Uh, hang on. I, I, it's icy outside. The dog didn't come downstairs in the ice. Hold on. Come on in, Dog. Come on in. I know he's thinking, I can't go back up those steps because it's icy. And I've had back surgery multiple times, and I'm not trying to have back surgery, and I'm not trying to have you have back surgery again, so I had to let him in. But... They recognize that we need to get better. And this is where I, I have to call bullshit. I, I called it earlier on Stephen Jones because Stephen Jones says that player acquisition is a 365-day-a-year job, that you're always looking for players to make your team better. Well, here's a team that we can look at and say they're looking. They tried with Matthew Stafford. They, they know they've got a hole. They've got a deficit. They have a place where they really need improvement, and they're doing everything they can to fill it. Right now, they're looking in the free agency market and the trading market. Okay, if that doesn't work, I guarantee they will draft somebody. But come hell or high water, they're at least going to make an effort to do something better. I can't say that for the Dallas Cowboys. I can't say that for with Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones because – when we look at free agency, it's an afterthought. You know, I talked the other night about buying tools. If you can't get good tools, okay, or if you can't get good products, don't settle for that uh, blue light special, that, you know, special purchase, because you're going to be disappointed that it can't do the job. You know, it, just for example, the sound quality that you're hearing now um, is so much better than what I had before. 
I had a mixer that, you know, it was a mixer. It, 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 I had eight inputs that I could put in there, had all my stuff going to it. It, it you know, you could turn the volume up and things. It, it worked. It had special effects, you know, it had the echo, 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 echo. You know, it had, had a lot of things that it could do. But it was still bottom line type of a mixer. It did okay. I made it for years with it. But now that the new mixer that I have, the Rodecaster, there's so many, so much more I can do with it. I can open up the playbook, okay? I can fade it. I can go ahead and and I don't have that from time to time. You know, you know, all of a sudden you're like, well, what's that sound? Don't have the echo in the background because I got something good. The Cowboys, when it comes to free agency, well, let's get a guy who's had problems with the law and doesn't uh, and, and has got attitude problems. Let's sign that guy. That's the kind of guy we do. Or we sign bottom basement guys that aren't really that good. It's kind of a warm body. They are the blue light specials, the special purchases. Yeah, they look like a tackle, but they don't play like a premier one. And I'm hoping that what we're seeing already with the whole attitude of, you know, we haven't thought about TJ Watt, or J, excuse me, JJ Watt. Or Patrick Peterson. We have made any no, that that this is not a precursor to what we always do in free agency. Go on vacation because literally one year they were on vacation in North Carolina for the first week and a half of free agency. We cannot do that if we want to compete. You know, we always talk about you know if we don't go to the Super Bowl, then it's a failure. We look at the players and say the players didn't do it. The coaches didn't do it. Well, you got to also look at the front office and say you didn't do it. If you look at Kansas City, Kansas City, they've drafted some great players. They've also brought in some free agents. Uh, you look at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, they've drafted some great players. but They've also brought in some free agents. And it's kind of funny that Kansas City has three guys that we deem not good enough for us or too expensive, and there's two free agents, you know, the Honey Badger, that we looked at and said, nah, we don't need his skills. And we looked at a guy like Namakin Sue several times when he left from the Lions and said, nah, he's not the kind of guy for us. Yet, those guys are playing in Super Bowls. Those guys are helping to elevate teams. Those guys aren't giving up 26.6, excuse me, 29.6 points a game. So, Stephen Jones, I'm going to put you on blast. You guys got to do more than what you're doing. And we have to stop bullshitting around with all the hype because all we are is sizzle and no substance. All right, y'all. <laughs> I think I want to go. No, actually, after seeing that, I don't think I want a ham sandwich. No. Ugh. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll let you know if Washington gets that ham sandwich. See you soon.